Today's lesson is hard to find, easy to love. The endangered animals of Taiwan. Hi, everybody. I'm Roger, and I'm Mike. And Mike and I are human beings, so we're not endangered. Humans are going to be around for a long, long time. But、uh, some animals in the world are endangered. They might go extinct pretty soon. And of course, we want to talk specifically about animals here in Taiwan, which are endangered. They're hard to find, but we love them so much, like the Formosan black bear. Absolutely. I always find the large animals of Taiwan to be fascinating. Because for such a small island that is really crowded with people, it still sort of blows me away that there are bears out there. You know, you'll take the train down to Gaosheng or something, look out the window, you see all those beautiful mountains, and every once in a while, I go, you know, there's bears and big deer living up in those mountains. It's quite impressive. But then you think about it, and you're not surprised that the numbers of these animals are extremely low. Now, with a lot of things with the environment, the more people understand the problem and appreciate the value. Of these animals, not as dead animals, but as living animals that can attract tourists and things like that, you really start to understand how important it is for us on this small island to protect the big animals that we have, as well as the smaller ones. Indeed, and of course, as you know, there are lots of cute animals here in Taiwan, and we want to protect them. We don't want them to go extinct. So let's talk about those endangered animals of Taiwan. Let's listen to the first part of our lesson. And we'll be right back. Hard to find, easy to love. The endangered animals of Taiwan. Imagine taking a walk along the Danshui River in Taipei 200 years ago. Stopping for a snack, you look into the water and see a family of Eurasian otters playing in the current. Hard to believe? Although river otters are endangered today, not that long ago the rivers of Taiwan were filled with them. Of course, the Eurasian otter is not the only animal in Taiwan that's nearly extinct. And like the river otter, these other animals need our help too. Everyone, the title of the place we can see is endangered. This word is a descriptive word. 指的是濒临绝种的或是有危险的。例如 ，This forest is home to an endangered species of bird. 这座森林是一种濒临绝种鸟类的栖息地。或者 ，Polar bears are one of the world's endangered species. 北极熊是世界上其中一个濒危物种。再来，我们看到形容词 extinct， 指的是绝种的或是灭绝的。举例来说。A skeleton of an extinct elephant was on display at the museum. 有一种灭绝大象的骨骸在博物馆展出中。又或者说 ，The flightless dodo bird has been extinct for centuries. 不会飞的渡渡鸟已经灭绝超过几个世纪了。另外，补充这个字的名词 extinction, e x t i n c t i o n, extinction. 这个字是灭绝或是绝种的意思。例如。Certain animals in Australia were hunted to extinction in the early 1900s. 澳洲的某些动物在一九零零年代初期被猎杀至灭绝。或是 The world's worst extinction event took place millions of years ago and wiped out over 90% of Earth's species. 世界上最严重的灭绝事件发生在几亿多年前，歼灭了地球上超过九成的物种。Okay, so the first part of our lesson begins by saying, "Imagine taking a walk along the Danshui River in Taipei." Two hundred years ago. Now I can imagine taking a walk along the Danshui River. Now, of course, we've got a nice bike path there and some walking paths next to the river, and it's nice. You know, you can see some wonderful scenery. You can look at all the buildings over in Banshao and Sanchung and places like that. So, taking a walk along the Danshui can be a lot of fun. But hey, turn the clock back two hundred years. There were no buildings along the Danshui River then, or at least not the tall ones we have today. 
and there were probably lots of wild animals going all over the place back at that time. That's right. No big roads, no bike paths, no bikes. Actually, two hundred years ago. So here we are, imagining this scene. There we are in the eighteen twenties, walking along the river, stopping for a snack. You look into the water and see a family of Eurasian otters playing in the current. Hard to believe, and I'll stop there and answer that question. Yes, that's hard to believe. I didn't know that they had otters living in that river. I mean, an otter is something I think of as kind of a Pacific Coast of America animal or something like that. Maybe swimming around near San Francisco, Seattle, Vancouver. But they actually have river otters here in the Dan Stray River, two hundred years ago, and probably fairly common to find them then. Yeah, an otter is kind of like a seal. They're very cute. I think the Only otter that I've ever seen is one or two of them at the Taipei Zoo. Oh, they're so cute! They swim around and、mm. they have fish in their mouths and stuff like that. They so look like dogs,、right? kind of. Like yeah, they're very,、dogs. very cute. Lots of people <laughs> like to stay there and look at the otters there. But yeah, that's a good question here. I just can't imagine seeing otters in the Dan Shui River. I can't really imagine、mm. any animal in the Dan Shui River now. It's so polluted, or at least. It was in the past. Lots of rivers that flow through cities get polluted, like the Hudson River in New York, for example. That's terribly polluted, and so here, of course, it's very difficult to imagine Eurasian otters playing in the current. The current just refers to the way the water moves through the river or the ocean. Sometimes currents can be dangerous, so you got to know what you're doing. And is that hard to believe? Is it possible to see Eurasian otters playing in the river or in the current? Well, although river otters are endangered today, not that long ago the rivers of Taiwan were filled with them. You might know somebody old enough to remember, or somebody from the country. Indeed, when I was growing up in Nanto, I used to see otters all the time. Wow, that would be very, very interesting today. It says, of course, the Eurasian otter is not the only animal in Taiwan that's nearly extinct. So there's a little bit of good news in there because we find out that the Eurasian otter is nearly extinct. The nearly is the bad news, but the fact that it does exist, it's not extinct, is kind of the good news.、Some Something that's extinct is an animal that has basically been wiped from the face of the earth. At times of change, they've been hunted. They had a disease. You know, it was a long time ago, like the dinosaurs. Certain animals become extinct because of massive global events, like the dinosaurs were made extinct probably by a meteor hitting the earth, causing their death. But of course, animals can go extinct because of overhunting by humans, like the passenger pigeon, which famously went extinct in America in the early 1900s, or The dodo, that famous extinct bird from Madagascar, they were there, and then people hunted them and killed them, and they couldn't recover. So this happens, and so if something is nearly extinct, that means there's a few of them out there in nature, but not very many, and they could go extinct. They could disappear from nature if we're not careful. And it says, like the river otter, these other animals. In Taiwan, need our help too. So that's a good introduction. We're almost on the edge of losing the river otter. There are some other animals that are in a very dangerous situation like that, and let's find out more about them in the second part of our article. Perhaps no animal in Taiwan is as cherished as the Formosan black bear, also known as moon bears for the crescent-shaped white fur on their chests. These black bears are famous for being endemic to Taiwan. Their diet includes fruits, plants, and small animals, but they particularly love honey. Okay, so it's time for us now to discuss the second part of our lesson for today. Perhaps no animal in Taiwan is as cherished as the Formosan black bear. Yes, indeed, this is an animal that is endemic to Taiwan. It only exists here in Taiwan, and people know about this bear. It has been made into cartoon characters as a symbol for Taiwan or Taipei. And again, it's cherished because people just love this black bear. 
and people here are very proud of the Formosan black bear, as well they should be. Yeah, absolutely. It's valued, it's loved, it's cherished, and it should be, as you said. Also known as moon bears for the crescent-shaped white fur on their chests, these black bears are famous for being endemic to Taiwan. Something that's crescent-shaped is kind of shaped like that portion of the moon. Often when you draw a moon, you might draw sort of just the edge of a circle, just a segment of a circle, or think of it maybe as the shape of your fingernail after you cut your fingernail off. That's kind of a crescent shape too. Or of also, you can think of the French pastry, the croissant, which is basically the French word for crescent. It's kind of that horn shape. It's almost like a segment of a circle, but not a full round figure. It's more like a half or a little bit more of that. So that crescent shape looks kind of like one of the sides of the moon as it moves through the months. So these black bears, it says, are famous for being endemic to Taiwan. Something endemic to a place is from that place. It is located in that place. It started in that place, and it's still in that place. If you go to that place, it will be there. It is basically its home. Exactly like the Formosan blue magpie. That is a species of bird that is endemic to Taiwan.、Mm -hmm. It only exists here in Taiwan, or it originally came from Taiwan.、Right. You could take it to other places, but this is where it started. This is where it began. Exactly. Okay. So these black bears, the Formosan black bear, is famous for being endemic to Taiwan. You can't find it anywhere else. And their diet includes fruits, plants, and small animals. But they particularly love honey, just like Winnie the Pooh. So in this particular case, we're talking about their diet, which refers to what they eat. So it says here they eat fruits, different kinds of fruits that they can find in the mountains. They like different kinds of plants, and also they eat small animals. I don't believe I've heard of any instances where they eat people, but still I would、uh, be very careful around them in the wild because they may attack you if they feel threatened. But hey, if you have a jar of honey, maybe they'll leave you alone because they especially like honey. That's that sticky sweet stuff that bees produce. Absolutely, they'll leave you alone if you share your honey. But if you're very greedy with your honey, they might get upset. So yes, be warned. So there you go. The Formosan black bear is an animal that is in danger, that is in trouble, and we'll find out exactly how bad the situation is in the third and final part of the article. Although they currently live only in mountainous forests, they once roamed all across the island. Unfortunately, due to hunting and habitat destruction, there are only about 200 to 600 remaining in Taiwan, making them extremely rare. To help black bears survive, the government has made hunting them illegal. Hopefully, that will be enough to help Taiwan's largest land mammal live on, and maybe someday flourish. Mountainous. 这个字是形容词，意思是有山的或是多山的。举例来说 ，Don's desk had a mountainous heap of paperwork that needed to be handled. Don 的桌上有堆叠成山的文件需要处理。又或者 ，The northern part of the country is snowy and mountainous. 那个国家北部常有积雪覆盖且又多山。接着我们看到单字 habitat。它是名词，指的是动植物的栖息地或是生长地。例如 ，This monkey's natural habitat is the Amazon rainforest. 这种猴子的栖息地是亚马逊雨林。或者我们可以说 ，The forest fire damaged many animal habitats. 森林大火破坏了许多动物栖息地。再来，我们看到名词 destruction， 它指的是毁灭或是破坏。我们可以说。I read in the newspaper that Simon's group saved the old building from destruction. 我在报纸上看到 Simon 所属的组织拯救那栋旧建筑免于被破坏。或者我们可以说 ，Five years after its destruction in 1944, the church was rebuilt. 这座教堂在一九四四年遭到摧毁的五年后重建。最后我们看到单字 mammal， 它是名词，指的是哺乳动物。例如。The platypus, unlike other mammals, lays eggs. 鸭嘴兽会产卵，和其他哺乳动物不同。我们也可以说 ，whales are classified as mammals because they're warm-blooded and breathe air like other mammals. 
。金鱼被分为哺乳动物，因为它们跟其他哺乳动物一样是温血动物，且会呼吸空气。Okay, so in the third part of our lesson for today, we're continuing to talk about the Formosan black bear, and they live in the mountains. So here it says, although they currently live only in mountainous forests, they once roamed all across the island. So you used to see them on the plains, maybe of Elon or Yunlin or places like that. You used to see them roaming around. To roam just means to walk around in a certain area with no particular direction in. In mind, and they once roamed all over the place in Taiwan. But now, currently, they only live in mountainous forests—forests forests that are in the mountains. Hmm, interesting. So, if you want to find them in their natural habitat, go there. It says, unfortunately, due to hunting and habitat destruction, there are only about two hundred to six hundred remaining in Taiwan. Making them extremely rare. Wow. Okay. So they once roamed all across the island. They wandered all over the place. Unfortunately, though, due to hunting, of course, when people go out and shoot them and hunt them and cut them up for their body parts, that will obviously lead to the death of the animals. But also habitat destruction. This is really actually more dangerous than hunting because hunting is a fairly limited activity. But habitat destruction, it's just part of human development, right? We think this is kind of a good thing, maybe. If If we go into the mountains and you know cut away a forest and build a nice hotel or a spa or build a bunch of new houses on the edge of the city, there it was forest, but now we're turning it into suburbs. Things like that can lead to habitat destruction. The habitat of an animal is where it lives, not just the place it lives on the earth, not just a point on a map, but all of the ecosystem that surrounds it, the trees that it finds shelter in, the bushes that it gets berries from, the other animals that live in that area. That it feeds on, and those animals feed on other animals, and of course the weather and the seasons and all of that stuff is the animal's habitat. You couldn't take a Formosan black bear from the forest and put him on a beach in Penghu and expect the animal to do very well, because that's a totally different habitat. It's a totally different environment. So when this habitat is destroyed, or when there's habitat destruction, a wrecking of the habitat, a chopping down of the trees, a pulling up of the bushes. A scaring away of the animals that it normally eats, that animal basically is left without a home, and that can lead to the death of the animal, and not just that animal, but the whole type of animal, the whole species. So because of that, there are only about two to six hundred of these bears remaining in Taiwan, clearly making them extremely rare. We want them out in the wild, and there's only around two to six hundred out there. Yeah, there is at least one Formosan black bear at the Taipei Zoo, and I felt so bad watching it because basically it was just walking back and forth constantly.、Wow. It certainly wanted to be free to roam the mountains of Taiwan. Nowadays, of course, mountainous forests are its habitat, but、uh, people keep encroaching on those areas. As Mike said, they build resort hotels or they open up areas for agriculture, for growing fruit or whatever. So they're facing habitat destruction, and they don't really know how many of them are left because they do live in mountainous areas. So this is an estimation、mm. here: between 200 to 600 of these bears remain in Taiwan. So of course, as a result, they are extremely rare, and we could also describe them as endangered. Now, to help black bears survive, the government has made hunting them illegal, which means against the law. Hmm, interesting. That of course would help the bears, but yeah, you could see how some Aboriginal groups, where it's a traditional practice, might be unhappy about that. But hopefully, as it says, that will be enough to help Taiwan's largest land mammal live on and maybe someday flourish. Yes, that would be a wonderful end to this story if the、uh, Formosan black bear began to flourish. When something flourishes, it does very well. It's growing well. It's doing well. It's succeeding in all its things. We 
stuff and talk about plants or animals flourishing. If you plant a new bush or a new plant or some flowers in your garden and the soil's just right and the water and the rain and the sun is just right, that plant will do really, really well. You won't have to take care of it much. It certainly won't look sick or anything. It will look super healthy. It will grow fast. It will be kind of in its ideal environment. And we could also say people flourish. You know, a young child that maybe finds the school that they're at a little challenging or the classes are too big or the teachers don't have enough time. If you put that kid in another class where it's smaller and the teachers can do a, a lot more work with them, well, then that kid's poor grades from the old school will suddenly become good grades and the kid will be happier and be doing better at school and making more friends. That kid is really flourishing. And of course, we're talking about a bear here. And yes, bears, I'm sure it's not big news to you guys, are mammals. Mammals are warm-blooded animals. They have live babies. The mothers make milk. They have hair on their bodies. They're able to control their own body temperature as opposed to reptiles, things like lizards and snakes and stuff like that, that lay eggs, that do not have warm blood, that don't produce milk. So this is just a classification of a whole huge group of animals. We are mammals. Bears are mammals. Cats, dogs, cows, sheep, goats, and horses are mammals too. Exactly. And of course, when the dinosaurs went extinct, it was the end of the reptile era and the mammal era began. Okay, that brings us to the end of our discussion for today. It's time now to listen to Henny. Imagine taking a walk along 什么什么来表达说想象沿着什么什么散步那么动词 Imagine a world free from pollution. 就是说想象一个没有污染的世界。哇,这样该有多好。再看看例句是, It's hard to imagine what it would be like to live on another planet. 好难想象住在别的星球会是什么样子。那这边我们就是在imagine后面接what所引导的名词子句咯。课文下一句写到说,你停下来吃点心,往水里看时,看到欧亚水獭一家正在水流中玩耍。那文中用到see a family of Eurasian otters playing 来表达说看到欧亚水獭一家正在玩耍 这里的see就是感官动词来表达看到看见那我们来整理相关的用法 感官动词呢它是指看听闻感觉之类的动词像 see, watch, look at, notice Listen to, hear, smell, feel 等等用来表达透过感官所观察到的周遭人事物那么用法就是感官动词加受词加受词补语而受词补语的部分呢可以是原形动词现在分词VING或者是过去分词PP只是这三种用法意义会不同哦我们来看第一个句型是感官动词加
illogical， 就是不合逻辑的。那如果 i n 后面所接的单字字母是 b m 或是 p 的时候，它会同化为 i n， 像 patient 有耐心的 impatient。不耐烦的、没耐心的。那如果 i n 后面接的单字字母是 r， 它就会同化成 i r。像 responsible 负责任的 ，irresponsible 就是不负责任、没有责任感的。好，那以上是今天重点整理，我们回顾今天单字吧。Endangered researchers say that around 14 percent of bird species are currently endangered, extinct. The Chinese river dolphin is an animal that may recently have become extinct. Cherish, the gardener cherished the garden's beautiful rose bushes. Mountainous, the mountainous region along the country's border was difficult to travel through. Habitat, sea ice is part of the natural habitat of the polar bear. Destruction, the destruction of the dam put the town's water supply in danger. Mammal. A mammal mother makes milk to feed her babies, while fish and insect mothers do not. Well, that brings us to the end of another edition of our program. And please make sure you join us again next time. From all of us here, I am Mike. I am Roger. See you next time. time.